Hi, this is Dr. Tony Mork, author, speaker, inventor, uh, endoscopic spinal surgeon. Uh, today I'd like to talk about spinal pain mapping and what that means to you. Spinal pain mapping is a technique that allows us to identify what particular structure is causing your particular pain. Sometimes uh, these structures can radiate pain to the same area, so it's important to know which structure is causing your particular pain. As you can see here, this patient has a couple of small needles into the side of the neck. These are discogram needles and they're used to inject a small amount of dye into the disc. This dye can cause some pressure which might mimic back or neck pain in this particular example or it can show leakage of the dye out into the ligaments in the back or showing the contour of a bulging disc pushing on the nerves. In any event, this can help to identify where the pain is coming from and where surgery may need to be performed. Spinal pain mapping can be broken down into about five different uh, areas to inject and the idea is either to anesthetize an area, uh, to remove a pain, or to inject some uh, dye for example in order to increase some pain that is normally there. So the idea is to either to increase the pain or decrease the pain uh, depending on what material is injected. The first type of uh, uh, spinal pain mapping technique is a selective nerve or block. And in this particular case, we can see that uh, a nerve, in this case an exiting nerve root in the lumbar spine, can be injected by putting a little bit of Novocaine where that purple arrow is. And if this was responsible for removing your pain, we could attribute the pain is coming from this nerve which is getting pinched or caught somewhere. The second type of spinal pain mapping block is one of facet blocks. Now facets are the guiding joints in the back of the spine and these uh, cause back or neck pain a little off the midline. What you can see here is if we put a little Novocaine where the purple arrow is into the facet joint that this could actually temporarily remove uh, the pain. If that w was successful then we could implicate the facet joint as causing that particular type of pain and uh, when we could suggest a procedure uh, to remove this pain on a permanent basis. The third type of spinal pain mapping is that of a provocative discogram. Although there is some controversy about this technique, it really involves putting a needle uh, into the disc as seen here. As we saw in the first picture, there's some dye. Here we see a disc bulge coming out and you can see that if the dye that was placed into the disc uh, may leak out into this particular area. We can see it on a CT discogram which often follows a provocative discogram. It's called provocative because the dye injected under some pressure uh, can oftentimes recreate the particular back pain that you might experience. The next spinal pain mapping type of injection is sacroiliac and this type of injection can go one of two places. Either can be on the crest, on the posterior crest where this purple arrow is pointing, which is oftentimes the place where uh, degenerative tendons are inserting into the iliac crest area, or in cases of trauma, the injection could be placed in the joint between the sacrum, which is to the, on the bottom of the arrow, and the ilium, which is to the left of the arrow. Uh, both of these would be allowing the pain to go away on a temporary basis, but is responsible for identifying uh, where the pain is actually coming from. The last type of spinal pain mapping that I utilize is injecting the spinous process. The spinous process is the tip uh, of the spine oftentimes where one might get a massage and the ligaments uh, may be pulled off of these causing a chronic pain. Uh, they make it pulled off in a, either just from degenerative changes or from a motor vehicle accident where there's a snapping sensation. The tendon pulls off, it never really reattaches but can cause pain uh, because it, the ligament riding over the tip of the process can actually uh, irritate the nerves that uh, are there. So this putting some Novocaine in this area and having the pain go away would confirm that the spinous processes are problematic and may need some surgical treatment. That wraps up spinal pain mapping, gives you a brief sense of what it's all about. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Please contact me at drtonymort.com or the office if I can answer any further questions about uh, the use of spinal pain mapping and how it might help to solve your back or neck pain. Great, thank you.